Well, hey, everyone, we finally made it back down here to Greenwood Middle School. And no, I'm not taking summer classes. Instead, we're making sure you get ready and prepped for heading back to the classroom. I'm joined here by our education expert, Ms. Jennifer Brinker. And today, Ms. Brinker, we're going to talk about, you know, what are some tips I guess parents can, can do when they're heading back to shop for supplies. Yeah, um, you know, the first thing that I would tell parents to do is stick to the list. Those supply lists are probably on your school's um, website somewhere. And, you know, I know that you might get to shopping and think, is it really that big of a deal if we get glue sticks instead of regular glue? Trust me, it is. Everything that your teacher has put on that list is is what you're going to want to try and stick closely to. I would also say to avoid any sort of those things that might catch your kid's eye, but that would be a distraction in the classroom. So they don't need, you know, a ruler that can double as a slap bracelet or a pen that lights up. Um, so I would avoid those. If you want to let your child pick out something that's going to be a little bit more fun, do that when it comes to like their lunchbox or a backpack, something like that. Because when you can do that, it is going to make them more excited to get back to school. Yeah. And speaking about getting kids excited what should parents do for the kids they might be dreading going back I get it summer break is awesome the adults like it just like the kids like it um, but just as an adult you need to watch kind of how you start those conversations off so if you're starting off the conversation with are you dreading going back to school are you sad that summer is almost over that's setting the tone for that conversation and then yes they will be dreading going back to school so instead as a parent watch how you you know frame those questions so what are you excited about for this school year what class did you like best last year are you looking forward to that this year um, just keeping those 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 conversations upbeat um, is going to make your kid feel more positive about it too. Yeah, very good advice. And you know, we're only a few weeks away before kids head back. What are some things parents can do to prepare at home? Well, what needs to start happening right now are those bedtime routines. Mm -hmm. It actually, research shows that it takes about two weeks for new sleep patterns um, to get into place. So I know even as a mom in my own house, we've been staying up late, you know, watching TV and catching fireflies, but we need to start inching those bedtimes a little earlier and then those wake up times a little earlier. So you're not finding yourself with your, your student being kind of crabby first thing in the morning because they're exhausted. Yeah. I think that's great. Any final advice for parents? Yeah, just keep an eye out for whenever the school is going to have any sort of back to school night, meet the teacher night, um, schedule pickups. Make sure that you're at those if at all humanly possible. Um, that's going to, it's going to allow you to meet the adults that are going to be spending so much time with your kiddos and get you all the information you need to, to start off the year on a good foot. Very well said. We appreciate it, Ms. Brinker, and we appreciate you guys tuning in. Of course, we'll have all these tips on our website at WTHR.com. Kids, enjoy the rest of summer break. Parents, too. 13 News will be right back.